Hello guys, really quick video um, about this graph over here. So what do we have on this graph? On this graph, we have our inflation rate that is calculated and measured using GDP deflator and consumer price index. Remember, we can calculate inflation rate using GDP deflator. We also can calculate inflation rate using consumer price index. So my question to you, what do you think when you're watching TV or you are reading a newspaper, when you are actually reading a report about inflation rate, is that inflation rate, the one that you see on TV, is it going to be reported based on the consumer price index or based on GDP deflator? And the answer is it's going to report it most likely based on the consumer price index because usually economists, you know, discuss a lot how the cost of typical consumer change over time. So therefore, it's going to be most likely reflected um, in consumer price index. So um, over here on this graph, we have this red line that is going to be inflation rate based on the CPI and a blue line based on the GDP deflator. And we have statistical data starting from year 1965 and it's end up here somewhere in year 2015. Basically, the rule of thumb is that inflation based on the GDP and consumer price index, they move together. Those two graphs move together. And you see like a lot of, um, you know, over here we see consumer price index increasing and um, or inflation based on the CPI increasing. The same happens inflation with the GDP deflator, you know, a little bit difference over here. Here we have like a big spike in inflation rate both um, you know, CPI and GDP deflated increasing, then we have decrease. And then over here, we have a little bit, you know, of a difference, a big gap over here between consumer price index and GDP deflated inflation rates. And then um, here, you know, little gaps, you know, a lot of times they move together here. It's another kind of abnormal situation, but um, there are a little bit gaps over here. So, um, what do we need to know about this gap? Why, if you're looking at this graph, inflation rate somewhere here in year 1978-79 increased by a lot based on the CPI, but based on the GDP deflator, inflation rate actually increased only by a little bit. So if you remember from microeconomics um, course, when you studied the case study about lines at the gas pump and the case study was about like price flow and price stealing you know there was that kind of topic and in in that you know year at about 1978-1979 the price of gas has increased tremendously the crude oil the price of crude oil has increased because um, of the OPEC and then therefore the price of gas has actually increased a lot remember when we purchase all this oil and gas that come from overseas from you know from Middle Eastern um, countries the increased price is going to be reflected in CPI because we're purchasing that gas, it's going to be the part of the CPI. We purchased, you know, goods that were produced, you know, um, using, you know, gas delivery, you know, and, that, and stuff like that. So it's going to be reflected in the consumer price index. But when that, you know, crude oil was brought into the United States, you know, from other countries, or when that gas was brought in the United States from the other countries, is that going to be reflected in GDP deflator? And the answer is no. Once again, somewhere over here, it's reflected. It's going to be, you know, caught, you know, we brought this gas, then we produce something in the United States, but, you know, was expensive to produce it now. Well, yes, it's going to be reflected somewhere over here. But the main um, a kind of explanation for this gap between consumer price index inflation rate and GDP um, deflated inflation rate is that the price of crude oil has increased tremendously. Therefore, gasoline, the price of gasoline has increased tremendously. We're going to include that gasoline in the price or in the consumer basket, okay, but we're not going to include this in the GDP deflator. And that the main difference, you know, between exactly this particular, um, you know, gap between CPI and GDP inflation rate. Please note this for the test.